for you to be a blessing to somebody else, you yourself must be blessed. Amen. It's the order of God. It's the way that God does things. Mm -hmm. It's the method that God has given the body of Christ <coughs> to abide by. He told Abraham in the 12th chapter of Genesis 1 through 3. He says, first of all, I want you to shake all of those people around you that do not want to abide by or conform to my way. Mm -hmm. He says, I want you to get from or come from among them your kindred and your countrymen. I want you to sever the tie with low-level people that that don't want God. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That that do not want to obey the command of God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Amen. Because I have an anointing yes. that yes. I'm about to drop on your life. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And I cannot do it with you hanging around people mm -hmm. that don't want to live for me, that do not embrace my principles. Amen. He says, I can't have you hanging out with people like that. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Yes. Please write this down. Uh, yes. The atmosphere you permit uh, determines the blessings you produce. Amen. Come on. Let's write that down. Amen. The atmosphere you permit. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you say that. The atmosphere, the atmosphere. you permit, you permit. Determines, determines the blessings, the blessings you, produce. you produce. Yes. Amen. Amen. So there's some, he told Abraham, I need you, Abraham, to come from among some of your kinfolk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. There's some of your relatives. Yeah. Yes. He didn't say, Abraham, I want you to eliminate your relatives because you cannot do that mm -hmm. because you are biologically connected to them. Mm -hmm. So you cannot eliminate your relatives. Yes. But you can regulate. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Those relationships. Yes. Yes. If those people, your relatives, yeah, your relatives and mine too. Mm -hmm. If they don't want God like you want God, yeah. or if they're constantly pushing you back, yes, as opposed to pushing you forward, yes. You got to shake them. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, yes. but you have to shake them. Amen. Are you hearing me in here? Amen. Look Amen. at somebody tell them, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But I'm going all the way with but God. I'm going all the way with God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He says, I'm not just telling you to do this for uh, just, just because, but I'm telling you because in the second verse of the 12th chapter of Genesis, uh, he says, I'm telling you to do this because I'm about to bless you. Amen. You read it sometime in the second verse. He says, I'm about to bless you. And not only that, he says, your name is going to be great. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'm, allow, I'm going to allow your favor mm -hmm. to be heralded abroad. Mm -hmm. And people are, are going to begin to gravitate to you. Because I'm going to put your name out there. Mm -hmm. You're not even going to have to spend a whole lot of money on marketing. Because by word of mouth, people are going to be talking about you. Yes, yes. I'm even going to use your enemies to bless you through a, a verbal campaign. Yes. <laughs> now you're going to have to take television time. Every now and then I'm going to have, I'm going to, have to mention your name. <laughs> he says, I'm going to bless you. But he says, Abraham, I don't, I'm not going to bless you so you can heap it upon your own lust. He says, but I'm going to bless you to be a blessing to others. Yeah. 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 Look at you and tell them, in order to be a blessing to others, in order to be a blessing to others, it's it's logical, it's logical that you must be blessed. You must be blessed. A lot of you even now under the sound of my voice, you're settling for a Mercedes. You're settling for one house. Listen to that. What are you talking about selling for? I don't even have a mistake. I don't even have a, I don't even have a house. Well, the only way you're going to get it in the first place, if a Mercedes is anything, a Mercedes ain't all that anyway. You know, the, what, the level I'm talking about that God wants to take you to and put you on is a level where you have choices. Somebody's filling me up in here. It's a level where you have choices. If you don't want to drive a Mercedes, you don't have to. But you got the money to if you wanted to. That's the level I'm talking about.
about. I'm talking about the level where you say, you know what? I like the Nissan Tantra better than I like the Benzo, so I go get the Tantra. If I want the Mercedes, I can buy the Mercedes, but I'm not going to let nobody dictate what I do because I'm the man. Somebody's getting it right now. Somebody know what I'm talking about. See, I'm going to take you to the scripture. I'm not being arrogant when I say I'm the man. Uh -huh. See, I got a revelation from God on Luke 6, 38, where it says, Give, and, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over shall men give it to your bosom. So if men are going to give it to your bosom, somebody's got to be the man. So instead of asking God to bless you all the time, you ought to ask God to make you the man. Am I right about it? Because if you're the man, you got to be like Abraham. You got to be blessed in order to be a blessing. Lord, help me up in here. See, when you're the man, you're the one Mother Thompson that writes the check. Yeah. He told Abraham in Genesis 12, he says, I'm going to bless you to be a blessing. He said, but the reason I'm doing it, that all the families on the earth might be blessed. He says, I'm going to put you in a position, you know, I'm going to make you a conduit. I'm going to make you a pipe. He says, in which my blessings can flow through. And how many of you know when the water goes through a pipe, the pipe gets wet? Yeah. So the pipe gets wet. In other words, when God's blessings flow through you, you get blessed as well. Yeah. All your needs are met. You get the good measure, the press down, the shaking together, the running over. Jump in and give it to you, but yeah. you, know, you can hate on me if you want to, but you didn't pray a prayer. I pray. I pray, Lord, make me the man. Look at somebody tell me that's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, make me the man. Yeah, Johnson, I want to be the man that writes the check. You understand what I'm saying? I want to be the one when the Holy Spirit unctions me and say, go ahead and supply that need. I'm going to do it through you. Write the check. I want to always have it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But God got to be able, he has to be able to trust you in order to assign that money to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, David, God's got to be able to trust you in order to assign that money to you. Yes, amen. And he said, the way I can trust you is for you to be obedient. And right there in Luke 6.38, it says, the contingency is, here's the obedience right here, is getting out of self. It's getting out of self, you know, because by nature we're selfish. Amen. Some of the first words you uttered when you were a child is mine, mine. What even your toy? You got somebody else's toy. They try to take it from you. Say mine. Am I right about it? So we're selfish by nature. But when you have Jesus Christ, watch this now. When you are a new creature, your nature changes. But if you have not embraced Jesus Christ, you can dress a pig up, give him a bath, put a bow tie on him, and send him into the city. But as soon as he finds mud, he's going to run right back to it if his nature. I ain't gonna let me preach. I'm almost finished with offering. If his nature has not been changed. Amen, somebody. Amen. And I'm afraid to say you have a whole lot of people that are dressed up. Yes. But they're messed up. Amen. 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 They're vogue on the outside, yes. but they're vague on the inside. Yes. But when your nature has been changed, when your heart has been changed, when you literally have been transformed, uh -huh. you have the heart of God, and that heart consists of compassion. Yes. If you're led by the Spirit of God, it unctions you to do things and you're obedient because you know all of your blessings are directly linked to your obedience. Amen. So the contingency is in Luke 6, 38, if you want to be the man. I don't know how many of you want to be the man, but I know I do. Amen. I want to be the man because I understand that if I'm the man, I got to have it. 